Hello guys, just a Renny here, and if you guys don't know what this is, it's a weekly recap on hacking news. You know, Vita, 3DS, maybe the PS4, whatever I see fit, whatever the highlights are of the week is what I do. Anyways, let's get this started. Alright, so first up we have some very juicy news with the very first PS1 emulator released for Henoku. Now if you didn't know, we don't have any EPSP exploits that haven't released publicly, though we do know the flow is working on one. But anyways, because of this, we didn't really have access to any type of PS1 emulators, at least from the native side, until th this one popped up by RetroArch. Now if you don't know who RetroArch is, they've been releasing a various number of emulators such as a GBA, like just any classic console you can think of at the moment. They have an emulator that's been ported to the Vita. Alright, so next up we have a warning for all you PSN account owners out there. So this email's been going around, claim that you need to reset your PSN password even though you haven't requested it at all. Now, a multitude of people have re um, reported this happening to them, including our staff members. So yeah, just a word from the wise of if you get an email claiming that you need to change your password and you haven't requested one, just be very careful on how do you approach it. Just go straight to the Sony site and change it from there. Do not click the link on this email and attempt to do any of that stuff. Alright, so this next tab bit of news is a bit more than a week old, but I still think it's worth mentioning as it's quite incredible. So you guys all know that site vbkmirror.com have released this homebrew store for your Vita, which means you can install homebrew from a browser, like from your in Vita browser straight to well your SD card or your memory card. So yeah, it's quite cool. I actually enjoyed it. It makes the whole installation process of Homebrew just way, way more easier. All right, so shout out to Smoke for making that app. And actually talking about Smoke, he actually left the scene a couple of days ago over some behind the scenes drama, which really sucks because he has dedicated a lot to the scene. Like you guys don't know that popular memory card swapper for the Vita is by him. It really sucks to see him go. He's been a part of the scene for a very long time. But I guess it's just life. People come and go, and though we don't know the reason behind why he's leaving, we only have like tiny clues on his Twitter, it still sucks very much. Anyways guys, that's all the Vita news for this week. Uh, I know it's very scarce, but once again, my job is to report on the weekly news. So yeah, anyways, if you guys want to read the full articles or keep up to date on the Vita, PS4, even 3DS hacking news, check out our site, hackinformer.com. Anyways, I'm Mr. Renny, signing out. Leave a like, subscribe, and might as well just leave a comment. Tell me your opinion on this whole smoke ordeal or how you like the PS1 emulator, etc. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week or even sooner if I can get this damn 3DS to work. But anyways, once again, just Mr. Renny, signing out. Peace.